Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. More cases of avian flu are being reported in dairy cattle. USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service confirming more cases at the end of last week. Now here's a look at the updated map from APHIS. It's now reporting 26 cases in eight states. Last week, it added South Dakota and North Carolina to the list, along with reporting additional cases in New Mexico and Texas. Texas hit the hardest, now reporting 11 cases in dairy cattle and New Mexico with a total of six cases. South Dakota officials, the latest to encourage producers to closely monitor their herds and contact their veterinarian immediately if cattle appear to have symptoms. 17 states have put in place restrictions on the importation of dairy cattle. Agnes Michelle Rook spoke with Marv Post, the chairman of the South Dakota Dairy Producers Association, about whether South Dakota will now do the same. That is not our goal. We, we would prefer, if at all possible, that we can continue to maybe test, uh, quarantine, test, and then ship, or some alternative, because if we're not moving those calves uh, to their facility to be raised, we're creating another whole big bottleneck, uh, and so uh, we almost have to keep cattle moving, if, if at all possible. USDA is continuing to tell consumers the pasteurization of milk kills that virus and so milk and dairy products are safe to consume.